Hey y'all, I was asked to uh, try to figure out Working for a Working Man by Blackberry Smoke. So here's uh, some of the parts of the song that I was trying to figure out. Um, I think they're pretty close, but I'm not sure if they're exact. Uh, there's like one video on YouTube, I think of him playing it live, and it's like kind of hard to see what, what's going on. So um, this is, you know, just to help anybody out who's trying to learn this song. So it, it starts, the main riff, it is, first note, it's like an A chord, and then he's gonna go to this. You're gonna give you a ring finger on the fifth fret D string, and then the middle finger on the fourth fret G string. And then you're gonna back it down into like a uh, sustained A. So like A, and then the middle finger on the B string, and then the ring finger on the D string. So. The rhythm pick up there, and then throw in some sort of like something like that, and then the second time around it's just A C D. And what that lick after that is just open on E string one three D, so fifth fret A, then third fret. So you're just A, hammering on, pulling off, and then landing on the G. Back to the A. G, F sharp. Then he goes into what I think is like the hardest part to figure out in this song. Um, it's something like some weird E shape, I think, or something. I don't know. But it's something like this. So that's like 11th fret on the D, 9th fret on the G, I think it's 10th fret on the B, I'm not sure. Um, mess around with it and see if you can, if that sounds, if that doesn't sound right to you or not. And then you're going to go back to two frets, and then you're going to go back one fret and switch those fingers, okay, so switch those fingers, and then back one more fret. Then the second time through, you're in the same starting spot. And then you're going to switch the fingers and go up one fret. And then back. And switch them back. And I think he just ends on that and goes back to the main riff. and then back into that same little sequence here and then it goes into like a breakdown section which is something like this so five and seven on the A and then jumping down to the, the the G and B on the five. So seven right here on the G. Okay. And then the second time through, it's similar, but um, Something like that. Solo starts on the 11th fret on the G string. He's gonna hit the 9th fret on the E and then the 12th fret on the B. And then um, it's a sort of like a sort of like a lick right here. Something like that. Okay. 
Then he's gonna slide into D on the 14th fret and then bend the 14th fret up on the G and then go chromatically up 12, 13, 15 on the B and in between each one of those he's gonna hit that 14th on the G that's been up. So it's like. Then bend the 15 on the B and then kind of walk back down, something like that. Okay, and then the last lick is uh, down here by A minor pentatonic stuff uh, on the 20th fret on the B string. Okay, so I think that's uh, pretty much all the parts to the song. If you got any questions, just leave a comment or anything down below. Um, and let me know if uh, you figured out a, a section of that and play it differently because, again, I'm not sure if this is exactly right. So, all right, take it easy. Hope it's helpful.